Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out the seventh mini album from Card Where To Now Part 1 Yellow Light. This is a bit of a surprise. I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't plan, at least not this early, I didn't plan on checking out this album just yet. But uh, after the Tell My Mama music video, I got super intrigued and uh, I saw a lot of comments uh, online, people uh, praising the album and saying that it, it might actually be their best one yet. So let's get into it. Let's check it out. We're starting off, obviously, track number one, Waste My Time. Track number two was Tell My Mama, which we already checked out. Check out the reaction um, somewhere here in the playlist or just go to the YouTube channel and let's get into it. I feel like this is a trick question. Maybe I'm selfish, but I don't want to go back to real life. Has a summery festival vibe. Someone the rest of it. No one asked my heart's race of it. I'll be waiting for it like a main event. Your love Ooh. like a drug rate takes effect. Feel at times that disconnect, but we find it back like we always have. Even in your dark sub, your light will be alright. Yeah, turn my back on you. Never stay with you. We know your never No more loneliness on the side. Help you leave with the pain behind. I know it makes some more but I'll ever make more with you. This is a vibe. That was the most PG verse by BM ever. Let's stay forever in this paradise. There's nothing I would change. I know it's insane, but I can't wait to let you waste my time. Was beautiful the title made me think that this song was going to be in a completely was going to go in a completely different direction like you know being with you is a waste of my time but here it's like you know we're so in love that i want i cannot wait to waste my time with you like uh being bored with you is something that i would rather do than to be in a party somewhere that is meaningless with people that i will forget about tomorrow and all that kind of stuff like truly like at first it made me think that it was like the honeymoon phase of sorts which you know but at the same time this is kind of like i don't know like in a like an adult relationship two people in love and you know there's nothing they would rather be than with each other and nothing that they'd rather do than each other. And nothing that, nothing that, there, there's nowhere they would rather be than with each other. Um, like, your company is enough. Being bored with you is enough. 
which is really low key wholesome. And that's, you know, that's kind of like relationships. Like, not all, it, it, like, relationships aren't like every day is a fucking celebration and every day is like parties and dinners and fancy shit happening. Sometimes just sitting, you know, in bed or by the couch, watching TV together, watching favorite shows, talking about random shit and just enjoying each other's company and being like, you know what? There's no place I would rather be. You cannot pay me enough money to leave this person. You know, so that was really, really beautiful. Uh, super relatable. Um, let's check out the next song. Boombox. Yeah. I got my Louis Shades with the coat in the summer. Sweat suits rocking smoother than a motherfucker. I be mobbing on the city, right? Turning on my pop, 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 pop. I love the 90s hip hop flow. Shaking this absorption, bro. Fill your car, bring it to the flow, fuck it up. Yeah, I'll be staying with the party and turning up the pop, 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 Sweat like a faucet. God damn. You'll be my boom box, baby. DJ go turn it up. You'll be my boom box, baby. Let me remix you. Let me remix you. You'll be my boom box, baby. Go turn the speakers up. Damn. You'll be my boom box, baby. Let me remix you. Let me remix you. Boom, 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 Oh, nice. Ooh. Man, on fire. <laughs> Rock with money. Nice. Ooh. Why do you have like that flow of like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? You know what I'm talking about? Like it's almost like cartoony, but it it's super hip hoppy, like 90s hip hop. Like it was really, really cool. Damn, I really like that. Fans, fans saying, damn, he's staying wrecking on my bias. Ooh, I like the little growl in that walk. Like the, the gates open up. Yeah, you do. Oh, god damn. What the shit? Damn, man, this song was wild. And so means high note at the end. Holy shit. I love the delivery in this song. I loved how animated the delivery was on the raps. JSEP is on fire. Like, I tell my mama that was some of the best delivery I've ever heard from him. BM's delivery in this one, I love how it was animated. It almost had like that cartoony, 
super exaggerated delivery that again reminds me of like the way that Will Smith delivered the the theme song for Fresh Prince of Bel Bel Air. Um, just like the the bounciness of it, it just it was very reminiscent. Maybe it doesn't make any sense, but it definitely has like those you know late nineties or even early nineties hip hop vibes. And obviously with the boombox in that era, it makes a lot of sense. I really, really, really enjoyed the song. And honestly, like make me sweat like a faucet. God fucking damn. Although, I mean, this is just a song about, you know, wanting to introduce someone to a new genre of music. Let me remix you. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I really need to get my head out of the gutter. You know, uh, you know, I'm quite immature, but this, even for me, this is too much, obviously. I mean, you know, there, there's nothing, you know, wild about about this never this is just a song about you know music and having fun and being loud and remixing people you know mixing you in other people fuck no sorry never mind let's move on to the next song please drop down so hard till you hit the flow drop down on top be my team team I'm stepping big entrance when I walk in In my section all lies on me locked in I'm the one if you're looking for who in charge They talking in high regards Bitch, I'm the big king of the boss, yeah Ooh. Ooh. Every time I swing, I knock it out the park Yeah, you are I on the tank, the cookie out the jar I don't follow the rules when I set the bar Nice I need all my girls, run the world To go to what you like It's your life They gonna let you anyway Nice. They're reference. They're about to reference PIMP by Fifty Cent. I don't know what you heard about me. This is my motherfucking PIMP. Goddamn, they really just did that. Holy shit, fuck. That's that's dope. The song kind of like the lyrics more so remind me a little bit of Gunshot because like Gunshot was about like toxic shit from you know online observers the ones who the keyboard warriors the ones that watch your every move that they literally reference a lot of that stuff in this one but only from the point of view of like we're on top so it doesn't matter what what we do there's always going to be someone to hate from the distance from a distance so just do your thing like as long as it makes you happy that's the most important part because like live your life and you know Someone will always find something negative to say anyway. So that that's really, really cool. Um, damn. I don't know what you heard about me. I get my sneakers on my bad fair free. Damn, the it's the same flow. The I need a bad boy who go S R M P. I'm the one that you need for me in the beer. So fresh and so clean. Damn. Jewel needs a simp. God damn. I need on my girl. Ooh, I love the scores. I really hope this music, this song gets in a performance video or something. Sorry? Make it wetter, no one better, make you say you need God fucking damn. Okay. Make it drop, spit on, spin on me like a rotary guy. Show me, make you better, no one better, make you say you need more. I need more. Trapping, can't you read? Why does that sound so insanely sensual the way she says more? Not even sensual, it sounds magical. What the fuck? Better make you say you need more. I need more. Trapping, can't you read? This sign costume, the floor, and I'm 
I'm sure I could never hunt in motherfucking matches You can match this Watching me, steady clocking me Out of my watch on me But the move, shimmy, shimmy Watch me I'm talking about Selmin's magic and the way she delivers the word more. Meanwhile, I'm completely ignoring the fact that she's saying. God damn. You could have a hundred motherfucking matches. You can't match this. I like that. It's like, oh, <laughs> Let's talk about it a little bit later because I don't want to get too fucking in depth right now. Make you read alone, I'm better make you say you need more. I need more. Tripping, can't you read this sign? Caution with fire. Oh my god. And I'm sure. I could never hunt the motherfucking matches. You can match this. Watching me, steady clock in me. This song deserves a music video, please. This is title track material. Also, the way they delivered this course, it reminds me of uh, Run This Town a little bit. Um, this was amazing. Holy shit. This is... I love Tell My Mama. Like, I love that it's a different sound for card. But this is... This is, like... It, I understand why Tell My Mama is the title track. It's a different... It's a breath of... It's refreshing. And, and, and it's, it's, it's charming while still having that card mannerisms and all and like the lyrics having a little bit of extra innuendos and all that kind of stuff still having that you know character in in card but making it super artistic with the music video and whatnot but this is fucking amazing holy shit i hope this gets like a music video i hope it's a possibility or at the very least a performance video but i would i would i would legitimately kill for a music video what i love about jiwoo's uh, line and i'm completely gonna ignore the dripping caution wet floor sign because god fucking damn just one song ago i was like trying to convince myself that the that card has very little innuendos in this in this uh album thank you so me for so mean for you know uh completely uh putting a big fucking tsunami wave all over that train of thought and ruining it. Thank you so much. Um, and putting a completely different image in my head. But uh, I love the line by Jiwoo. You could have a hundred motherfucking matches. You can't match this. Like on one hand, it's like, she's so confident. As they say, uh, ladies all, all around the world, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you could be the baddest, most badass dude on the planet who thinks he he's got everyone figured out who thinks they can get every mo woman like like those alpha or sigma males or whatever the fuck that think that you know they have like this aura and whatnot you you might think that you can get me but you could have a hundred matches on your profile you cannot match this but also you can match this match this energy you know in terms of like card as a whole so I thought that that was really, really cool too. And I, I love how much the lyrics kind of like remind me a little bit of, of gunshot in the, in the way that, you know, everybody's watching me, clocking me, but all I'm doing is just, I bust a move and I don't care about who's watching because you cannot stop me. So keep on watching me, keep your eyes on me because you're giving me more attention, which translates to giving me more fame and giving me more money and giving me more to write about in the end like songs like this are possible because of the shit talking online so you know it's it's like a never-ending cycle it's like it's like fucking money laundering like people will keep on talking shit and then idols will keep on making songs about people hating on them and being like hey you see what i'm doing i'm, I'm making money off of you hating on me so you wanting me to fail actually fuels my career even more and lets me make is allowing me to make songs like this you fucking dumbass you know that's pretty cool also i'm um, like I, I bm is wilding out i'm liking what she's showing me make it wetter no one better make you say you need and then so mean fucking ties it in because she ties it in with the wet floor caution sign fuck 
anyway, th this was this was amazing. This was without a doubt my favorite song uh, in this album. Let's move on to the final song, which is going to be Spin. Sliding into DMs because I already got Thank you. Double my C's. I put my best foot forward. I don't step back unless I. BM, what foot are you talking about? Because what's your lyrics? Pretty sure that there's free feet. <clears throat> anyway. I put my best foot forward, I don't step back unless I. Spend, spend, spend. My flex and you do your dance, go and swing and lay hips. Work it, girl. Yeah, I'm that bitch. Boy, boy, got that in the outside. Bing, bing, let me get it, rub it all night. Drive, 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 spin out and fly by. Spin, 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 let me give you. A joyride? God damn. Ooh. I love the way they distorted his voice as he started saying clear my mind. Because it's hazy. Damn. That's cool. Ooh. Nice. I style like a charm. Oh, this song is getting a performance video for sure there's no way that it doesn't are you fucking kidding me what the fuck the double my c's part that first when i heard it for some reason my mind took me on a wild journey of what that could potentially mean but going through like the urban dictionary apparently it just means you know chanel if i'm not mistaken i i, I think let me know in the comment section Sounds too pure to be card, but uh, at the same time, I, I think the album was wild enough with some of the innuendos and some of the lyrics. Yeah, like the, 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 the fact that like the first song sounded so fucking pure in comparison to everything else, like even Tell My Mama, which still was incredibly charming, but the first song was so incredibly pure that was like super loving and just a, a beautiful relatable kind of a relationship in some way and then the album took on a wild turn with lots of like innuendos wild beats some dope lyrics the hip-hop vibes in, in uh in boombox were amazing but still shimmy shimmy is probably my favorite song in this album it was so fucking dope and i i just love the lyrics a lot maybe that's why because you know it, 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 it it's hard to talk about lyrics that you know are filled with like innuendos and stuff like that because you know i i get a little bit you know uh i guess self-conscious about it and how i talk about it and you know i i can get a little bit you know i don't know it just it's easier for me to talk about lyrics like shimmy shimmy because you know it, it it's stuff that uh i talk about often uh on this channel about how idols are being treated and like focusing on yourself and not let anyone else fucking you know ruin your vibe and all that kind of stuff and just being true to yourself 
um, and letting the haters, you know, eat their words by being the thing that makes you more money, like their hate brings you more money, more fame, more material to work on. Um, as they can write these lyrics, like shimmy shimmy, like keep on hating on me. I'm gonna keep on making my moves and stay on top. Uh, so that was really, really cool. But overall, this album was wild. Spin was spin might actually be like a close second favorite. I just love the the beat itself. I love I love the camera. Like their chemistry is so fucking incredible. And the line distribution between them always seems like just just the right. It always hit, hits the spot for me. I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will catch you all in the next one. Be well and safe wherever you are.